Welcome friends to creating this home. It has been a while since I've last uploaded a video, but I am back and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> okay, so today we are in my girl's shared bedroom. My daughters are seven and 10 and their room just needed a little bit of love today. They have been up here crafting and creating their little hearts out. If you don't know what little blind bags are, my girls are super into them and they are just paper bags where you can create little characters or animals and customize the hair or the clothes or the shoes or so forth and so on. So most of the stuff up here is really just a lot of paper that they have um just been cutting and crafting and creating like I said and it has just been like a blessing to see them together and having fun and giggling and just uh, I live for this <laughs> I love it I love it I love it um so my method to this madness was just pick a corner and start just pick a corner and start and that's what I did so I'm getting all their markers put back together or in their container and then I'm getting all of their crayons put in their container and then I'm just starting out with just whatever needs to be trashed is trashed so I'm going to continue to get the paper off the floor and get this room tidied and cleaned I remember coming home from school and my mom would have my room completely cleaned. I mean, she would go in, vacuum, dust, declutter, organize, do all of the things. And those are one of the most special moments that I have with my mother, especially because it created so much nostalgia, knowing that when I got home, my room was going to be clean. And she didn't do this all the time. She would just do it. She would intervene when she knew that I needed the little mother's touch and so that's what made it so special for me and I'm just so thankful that I'm able to do the same thing for my girls although I do teach them discipline and I also teach them responsibility and they know that they are responsible for caring for their own things however you know they needed a little mother's touch today and here I am <laughs> to give them that little mommy boost that they need to get their room back on track. As I am going through my girl's room, I am also just counting my blessings. I'm counting my girl's blessings as well because not everyone has what we have and that is just something to be humbled about. It's just the fact that not everyone has what we have. So counting your blessings is a huge form of gratitude and just being grateful for what you have. And although it looks like I'm purging and getting rid of a lot in my girl's room because I am filling up this trash bag, <laughs> I am still just very thankful and grateful for everything that they have. And it's been a long time coming because we didn't always have what we have. But that to say that, you know, we are just very grateful and thankful to be where we are today. And for my girls to have a room, even though it's a shared room, they have a room that, you know, is sheltered to them, that they're able to play in and craft and create, as well as, you know, 
they're able to sleep in here and be comfortable it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and i'm just so thankful to god to be in position to have these things and to have this home and for it to be four walls that keep myself and my family sheltered as well as you know we are fed we are healthy we are blessed and i just want to put that out there to you that if you don't have um much little is much when god is in it <laughs> i've been raised on that saying little is much when god is in it So now that I have picked up all the trash and purged through all of my girls' toys and got rid of the little itty bitty pieces and parts that they were not utilizing, I can now focus on their desk area. So they had some things up here from downstairs that shouldn't have been up here. So what I'm going to do is get those things put back to where they need to be. And that little door that you continuously see me putting things in, that is my daughter's hobbit closet. It is an extension of our house that is meant for storage, but they have converted it into a little playroom and I'm not allowed to show you. <laughs> because I do not have their permission. However, one day I hope to get my hands in that room and just purge and declutter in there because that's where they keep all their baby dolls and Barbies. They even have a little vanity in there. It's the cutest little setup ever, but back to purging and decluttering. You see me doing that in the baskets that were on top of their desk just getting rid of any unnecessary things that are bogging down these baskets that shouldn't be in there and you know just to help them be a little bit more practical with the things that they have on top of their desk i am now going to get their desk wiped down so that they have a clean space to craft and create and yes i am just thrilled to have this done and you see me on the phone i'm actually on the phone with my husband he called me during his break and we were just chit chatting about things and he's excited that I'm back on YouTube as well. <laughs> Thank you for your support, husband. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this wiped down and then we'll go from there.
So now I am moving on to my daughter Celeste's side of the room and clearing off her cube shelf. It has accumulated quite a little bit of stuff up here and it's okay because once they run out of floor space and space on their desk, they start to uh, kind of put things in a disheveled, organized way up on their cube shelves because they want to keep these things from memorabilia. And I understand that, but not everything <laughs> can be kept because, you know, it's old paper or um, maybe it's something they have crafted a while ago or maybe it's just something they're not into anymore however you know like i said that mommy's touch <laughs> i'm in here to make it happen and to get these things cleared and cleaned off so now you see me filling up her diffuser and i'm going to be putting some lavender essential oils in her diffuser and just get the room smelling amazing for my girls they truly enjoy the lavender scent and I do as well so you know I'm gonna finish wiping this down and then hopefully we can move to the beds and getting those stripped and getting some clean linen put back on them and that way they can be so clean the beds are clean cozy and ready for the girls tonight How often do you change your bedding in your children's room or your own bedding? I try to get to all of my kids' beds at least once a week. However, it does not always happen that way. Sometimes we go every other week and I am a mother of five, so I don't always get to all of the beds in this house <laughs> every week, just being honest, you know, even my own bed, you know, I try to get it stripped and washed once a week. And sometimes that doesn't happen, but you know, blessed is best. So I could, I just run with that theme and just say, okay, whatever I can get done this week, I get done. Even if it's an excessive amount of laundry, I'm definitely so thankful and grateful to have in abundance rather than to not have. So to be on the positive end of the spectrum versus, you know, low on the totem pole, is definitely a win in my book and I'm just so thankful and grateful to have these materials so that my girls can sleep comfortably and be safe and feel safe and just feel warm and cozy at night and I again I am just so grateful and thankful let me know in the comments down below how often you change your bedding or the bedding in your house
So you may be wondering why I only make my girls beds with half of the quilts. And that is because whenever I pull the quilts all the way over their beds, they're either tangled in the quilts or they are just thrown about and so my girls really enjoy sleeping with their throw blankets on the end of their beds and that works out perfectly for us and it is a much easier access for them to be able to make their beds whenever they get up in the morning they only have to deal with just that throw blanket so it makes them feel good about making their bed and then they don't have the hassle of having a whole blanket or a whole quilt to deal with so that is the reason why i make their beds the way that i do and all is well they love it i love it and it works out perfectly for us <laughs> Now I am on my daughter Joanna's side and I'm cleaning her cube shelf off and it wasn't too bad. Um, she doesn't typically keep too, too much up here. Uh, you see me cleaning it off in the very beginning where she had pencils and she had uh, stickers and papers and so forth and so on. Typically, she's not one to clutter her side up, but I noticed this time she had a little bit more than what she would. And that's because, again, they had crafted and created all over the floor and... <laughs> on their desk and they just kind of ran out of space so she was um utilizing her cube shelf as well so now i am cleaning off their little book area where they are able to sit and read their books and comfortably be at peace whenever they are reading their books i really enjoy this little reading nook that i have created for them and they utilize it a lot so i am so thankful for that um my 10 year old Celeste enjoys reading to her younger sister, uh, Joanna, who is seven. And that has just been such a blessing. So now I'm over here and I'm getting the girl's dresser cleaned off and I am then going to vacuum the floor.
Now that I am almost finished with vacuuming my girl's room, I can feel that they are going to be so excited when they come back up here and they see that the room is all nice, neat, tidied and cleaned and that they are going to just be so thankful and grateful for mommy helping them get in their room together and just uh, <laughs> I love it I love it I love being a mother I love being a, a girl mom I love being a boy mom as well but um, I have three girls and two boys and my girls are 13 10 and 7 and my boys are 13 and 5 and so it's just been a, an amazing journey having five kids and not only that just having five little hearts to love on just uh makes me just just makes me just feel so loved <laughs> but back to getting their room cleaned next week i am going to have a part two to their room where i am cleaning their actual closet and their bathroom as well as i think i am doing something else in that video but make sure you stay tuned and also subscribe Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever I post every single Tuesday. I thank you guys so much for being here and supporting this channel. And I just can't say it enough. You guys are all amazing and I, I couldn't do this without you. I could not do this without your feedback, without your warm messages, without your comments. So make sure you show some love in the comments down below and drop me a red heart below if you are watching this video and if you really like this video, make sure you leave me a red heart below and um, I will respond back to you. But yes, I'm gonna finish getting this room all vacuumed and then I'm gonna give you an overview and show you how it all turned out so thank you all again so much for watching and i will see you all next time Thank you.